Right here we have an equation with two variables, y equals 3x minus 1. So this equation is going to have more than one solution it has, because it has more than one variable. A solution is going to be an ordered pair, in other words an x and a y value, which make this true. So one of the things that we'd like to do is to graph on a coordinate plane, an xy plane, so that we can see all the different solutions to an equation like this and what they look like. One of the easiest ways to do this, um, and it's reliable in a variety of circumstances, is to create an xy table. And we do that like this. So in this table that I've created, I have a column for x, so I'm going to pick some x values. I'm going to calculate 3x minus 1. So this column's optional, but it just gives me some space to calculate. And that 3x minus 1 is what y is going to equal if this equation is going to be true. The next question is, what x values am I going to use? Uh, all things being equal, if I don't have a reason to choose specific x values, I'd like to choose x values which are close to 0. x values close to 0 are going to be easier to work with. So in this case, I'm going to pick x equal negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. We can actually use any x values we want, but these are good default ones because they're easy to work with and close to 0. Now I'm going to take each of these x values and plug the x value into 3x minus 1 because y is equal to 3x minus 1. So if I put the x value into here, I can find out what y value goes with a particular x. So when x is negative 2, 3x minus 1 is going to be 3 times negative 2 minus 1. I'm going to do this over here quickly in my scrap area. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 1 is equal to negative 7. Therefore, 3 times negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 7, or y is equal to negative 7 when x is equal to negative 2. I'm going to repeat this process for each value of x. So next I could calculate 3 times negative 1 minus 1. That's going to be negative 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Minus 1 is negative 4. 3 times 0 minus 1 is 0 minus 1 or negative 1. And I can continue this for all of them. 3 times 1 minus 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 1 is 5. Now I have a y value to go with each and every x value. When x is negative 2, y is negative 7. So I can graph that on my coordinate plane at the point negative 2, negative 7. Then I have negative 1, negative 4, which is here. 0, negative 1, right about there. 1, 2, and finally, 2, 5. So the dots on the graph here represent different solutions to our original equation y equals 3x minus 1. We'll note here that they form basically a straight line, which suggests to us that this is a linear equation. So because it's a linear equation, we can actually uh, connect the dots and uh, make this into a line, which is going to indicate that anything on the line, on this line here, is going to be a solution. I'll do my best to draw a straight line here, but it might not be too pretty. But the idea is that we can connect those dots, we make a straight line, and each and every number that appears on this line, each and every ordered pair that appears on this line 
whether it be one of the ones we selected or above or below, is going to make our equation true. Thank you.